the chapter we're reading, this one is called um, Social Investments. Uh, the Sean Anker book we're reading is Happiness Advantage. And really um, just looking at this year at the Shalin as a community, as individuals spending more time in our uh, last body, which is the spiritual body. So we focus, of course, here on our external body and our internal body, but in particular, wanting us all to stretch a little more in that particular body this year. So I want to start by reading uh, this part to you guys. I thought it was very interesting. One of the large, one of the longest running psychological studies of all times, the Harvard Men's Study, followed 268 men from their entrance into college in the late 1930s all the way through the present day. From this wealth of data, scientists have been able to identify the life circumstances and personal characteristics that distinguish the happiest, fullest lives from the least successful ones. In the summer of 2009, 2009 George Valiant, he's gonna like, you're gonna retape this one. The psychologist who has directed this study for the past 40 years told the Atlantic Monthly that he could sum up the findings in one word. Uh, some of you were in class already, but um, so uh, most of you are familiar with this study. This was one of the most popular studies known was the Harvard Men study, 260 some guys. What do you think this guy from all of his years of studying, he said I could sum it all up in one thing. The most successful, the happiest, the people that stayed the physically healthiest came down to one thing. Breath, Breath. what else did you guys say? It's love. It's love. So um, I'm just going to read a little bit further. So Sean says love. Full stop. Could it really be so simple? Valiant wrote his own follow-up article that analyzed the data in great detail and his conclusions prove the same. That there are 70 years of evidence that our relationships with other people matter. And matter? more than anything else in the world. Wait, I want to read you guys one more thing. So I'm going to skip forward a little bit here. There's another study um, that was done with positive outliers. You guys remember what the outliers were? The little wacky ones off the dots like you guys. Positive outliers already know this to be true. Indeed, it's what makes them positive outliers. In a study appropriately titled, and I love this, very happy people. Researchers sought out the characteristics of the happiest 10% among us. Do they all live in warm climates? Are they wealthy? Are they all physically fit? Turns out there was one and only one characteristic that distinguished the happiest 10% from everybody else, the strength of their social relationships. So, it's interesting, I'm gonna make this jump to yoga as I always do because yoga is a thing that we do that's very individual, very personal. I always say to you guys, this is your practice. When you really own it as your own is when you really step into it, right? But it's interesting because we all come to practice here. You know, we, we could practice at home and I know sometimes we do practice at home, but even for myself, I gravitate towards a shala for a practice or to my teacher, Tim and Encinitas to practice because there's something kind of unique or special that happens when there's a group of us practicing and breathing together. Um, it's more powerful, it's more strong, it, it like, it, um, it supports our commitment. Um, and, and there's something that we say in Sanskrit or in Buddhism called uh, Sangha. So if you see the lotus that we have in the old shala I brought to the new shala with the two dragons that protect the precious lotus has three jewels in it. What are the three jewels? Buddha, Dharma, Sangha. So Buddha for us is the ability to, to awaken to ourself, right? And Dharma, in this translation, Dharma means the teachings, right? But the third one, Sangha, what, what does Sangha mean? It's a community. Um, specifically, it's a spiritual community. So for us, one of the most precious things that we have, aside from our teachings and us being able to become a best or better version of ourselves, is that we have this community to do it in that we have a group of people that we feel supported by and that we, um, you know, we come here and uh, we not only have a place to slide in and practice, but we also have um, people that maybe don't know your name, but know you and are happy when they see you every week or um, you get to know little pieces about folks here and there. And of course, the beauty of um, talking about uh, 
Alice and Maria is just the beauty of um, all of us caring about each other. And when something happens that we, we're there for each other. And, um, you know, I can look around the room and I know when um, great things have happened for you guys, I've celebrated those with you and hard things. And it's really, it's, you know, I say that the shawl is so special, of course, because it's beautiful here. Uh, this is Anastasia's first time and she's like, it's so beautiful here. Um, the altar's beautiful and, and the floors are beautiful, but I always say what's most special about this place is the community. I always get choked up when I say that, but it's true. And I think, you know, in this tradition, it really starts with a relationship with a teacher and a student. And then from there, it grows to a relationship that all of you wind up having with each other and, and a, a very special way that we support each other that I know over the years, you guys have understood the power of that. So I encourage you guys this week to look around the rest of your lives and see where you see community, see where you see love and support. Um, obviously family and friends, the family that we create. Um, but also, you know, I was just saying some of the most simple things, you know, like I go down here to the UPS store and, um, and Mike who runs it, like I'm always just so happy to see Mike and sometimes his dog is there. And, and I'm like, that's what makes my life rich is those little relationships too that are so powerful. Um, so as always, I, um, I welcome all of you to this beautiful space and I thank you for being what's most important as part of this beautiful Sangha. Namaste. The quote this week is by Rachel Naomi Raymond. Perhaps the secret of living well is not in having all the answers, but in pursuing unanswerable questions in good company. <laughs>